We provide great guidance, we hit our numbers, and so everybody likes that. They like it when you hit your numbers. But the other thing we really try to do is we really try to explain our business to people. And this year, one of the key items for our business was the construction of a new 60 million a day gas plant and associated liquids handling facility. So we started the year and said, you know, in the past, we've done video updates on things like that, and this time we decided to do a, a, a photo blog. And I had great feedback from people on the photo blog. They really liked the photo blog. We kept them up to date what the progress of that gas plant was was targeted that gas plant for the start of Q of Q1 of 2014, put a news release out in January saying we had that up and running as an early Christmas present just before Christmas. So that was key for us. Another key was we kind of changed our videos. We're continuing with videos on a quarterly basis. You know, and part of this is because we get out, we talk to a lot of institutional investors. We have a very strong retail base, about 60% of our shareholders. So we want to give the retail investors the opportunity to hear our CEO, our COO, or CFO answering the same questions that the institutional investors ask. So we started a Myron's Minute because we, with that, so Myron's our new CEO, started January 1st last year, so we do these Myron's Minutes. We had really strong uptake in that. We were in Europe last week, and I can't tell you the number of investors who comment how much they love Myron's Minute. And the other th thing, of course, was that is we did do a CEO transition. You know, we went from John Dealwert, and John had been our, our leader uh, since inception uh, 17 years ago. You know, Myron Stadnick came in January 1st of last year, known commodity, been with ARC for 16 years. And I'm really pleased because Myron, first year CEO, and he is shortlisted for best IR by a CEO, up against some really stiff competition. But to be there in his first year, I think is a tremendous accomplishment for a rookie CEO. Now I look at the prior winners of this, and you know, some of these are the you know, sort of legends of IR, the people who really started Siri and found foundational members of Siri on that one. You know, for, for me, I think, you know, really I've had this sort of career split into thirds. You know, I started as a geophysicist in the oil patch, moved into a financial role, and then moved into investor relations uh, you know, later in my career, sort of the last third of my career. I moved to ARC Resources in, in 2001, and you know, being able to be part of the management team at ARC which has taken that company from a, you know, a, a $180 million IPO and today we're a $10 billion company. We're part of the TSX 60. Yeah, it's been really gratifying. I've worked with a fabulous group of people there and those were probably really the highlights. It's the people. And I think what, you know, what pleases me is, is I've always taken the approach to continue learning. And I've learned from so many people, and, I, and that's one of the, the really nice things about the IR community is their openness and willingness to share. Yeah.